It's the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Time to start the show. Talking figs and collectibles. Here we are, let's go. Cardone is here to buy everything. Bare minimum, Brian is thinking what to say. Smart Mark is ready to f- the show. It's time to talk. Let's go. Time for the top five of 2020 from all three of us. Um, all right, so how, how do you want to do this? Do you want to just give our we list? We each give our five, we each okay. give our four, we each give our yes. three. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with, we'll start with wrestling figures. Of course. Okay, right. yeah. Also well, yeah, let me do this with you guys, and then you can do your nerd alert thing <laughs> after, okay? Okay, all right. Brian, number five. Ahead. I'll go first. Yeah. I'm going to stooge off my number four, because it's four and five are kind of a tie. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, are coming in at four and five. No, okay. no, 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 I'm not going to give one the four or the five. I think they're equally, wow. equally toyetic as hell. Worth the wait. So much effort went into them. You know, but, not, did not see that coming. The armor, the uh, the body part choices. I mean, like, it, I mean, maybe I could put Eric at at. Five and say that his quads could be a little bigger, but that's like every Mattel it seems. So mm. you know, do you even take off of that? Uh, well, off of that, I, I cheated. They're impressive. My right? num- my number five, ringside collectibles exclusive. Edge with Zack Ryder, <laughs> Come on, and Kurt Hawkins. Edge. Now favorite. hear me out. Hear me out. Now yeah. am I am I a little biased? Uh, of course I am. Who's who's of in co- that? It comes with what? Zach um, Ryder. This guy named Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins. Am I a little biased? Did I create the set? Yes. However, however, hear me out here. Three in one figure. You can buy three. You can buy one. I think it's a genius it, concept. That's I never think been done in wrestling figures, right? A three in one? Never been done. A three. There's been multiple two in ones. Never been done a three in one. Wow. And, and, and these two in ones, it's like, yeah, maybe I'll get two. These three in ones, you needed to buy all three. Yeah, you needed to buy all three. I think this is something that we will see in the future. I think it's a great concept, um, but what and else I'm very fits proud that, that we category actually, though. Like that's such a it's tough. Well, maybe the three and one it's a little harder. Well, but I do think the two and ones, and Mattel has done a good job with them. But I think they really need to put more meat on the bone, as Jarrah would say. Not yeah. like a Pat Patterson with his clothes, and then when he's has no clothes. I'm saying real meat on the bone. Yeah, and I thought this Edgeheads three and one had a lot of meat on the bone, and I'm gonna it, give it bonus it, points. It, it takes like for that running of, change. I, I feel like it takes a lot of luck and a lot of creativity, though. You know. Yes, and I'm gonna give it bonus points for the running change, which makes you had to buy six. <laughs> if you're a real completist, yeah. That was on. That was honorable mention for mine. I almost okay. did it, but then I thought we'd be too biased. Yeah. Uh, my number five and, was. And, uh, you, and, you, and you thought right, Mark. But, uh, yeah. My number five was the Super Seven Andre the Giant. I think that Ooh. it's a it's a great figure. I I didn't own an Andre the Giant when, at the time, so when people it's got come the beer. in my when people come in my playroom, I'm always like quick to point it out because I want them to be more familiar with like a Super Seven Ultimate like product yeah. and get be even more excited about what's to come. You know, it's a great figure. Um, they they nailed it. I think. I think. Um, you know, I like you said, Brian. I'm super excited. No pun intended, because we're going to be in that same line. Uh, but to me, it's not nothing as Super Seven. Just the Andre. It's Andre. How many Andres have we had? There's a lot of Andres. There's yes. really nothing super special that makes it top five for me. The, the oh, beer, like it. Mark said, the beer is fun. It's fun that it's a different company, but the I packaging mean, is awesome. Technically, the way they sent it. Really, technically, Mattel tackled this already. You know, and so right. did Jax. That's true. Well, I think Very it's better. True. All right, Brian, back to your number four. Well, I, I can just skip because I already said that it would be Ivar of the okay, Viking Raiders. Mine is also a ringside exclusive. Cody, Dustin, the Rhodes Brothers, Blood Brothers. Nice. Um, yes, these are repaints, but Cody has a new head. There's a little scaling issue, but the blood application hasn't been done in years, and it's never been done like this where it's like there's different textures of the blood, different, you know, darker blood, lighter blood, uh, and it's the same. It's a paint app, so every figure is the same, uh, and then the package with the blood all over it, and it's such an iconic match, and I don't know, man. I just think they, they really nailed it, and I'm glad we're able to see blood again on an action figure. Uh, it's something I didn't really expect, 
and then just kind of came out of nowhere. Like you, you knew it was coming, and all of a sudden, in stock. Yeah. So yeah. I really like that. Well, I'll tell you this. My number four, the AEW uh, ringside exclusive, Blood Brothers. Whoa. So there you go. So the cheat I, sheet I, up in here. I echo everything you just said. I love it. It's a it's a great thing and and uh, definitely worthy of figure of the year. All right, coming in number three for me, twenty twenty figure of the year, ultimate edition. If you smell wow. the rock, is cooking. I just think uh, after all these years and all these rocks. We truly, and I guess pun intended, we finally have an ultimate rock. Like, I feel like the likeness, the fun of all the hands and the heads and the accessories, like, just finally there's one that the be all end all rock figure of this iconic superstar and megastar is finally in our collections, you know? So, finally. I, I, I uh, it's not on my top five. I don't think it would be even on my top 10. However, Whoa. it's a great wow. figure. Wow. Great figure. I Throw, do agree with what you said. It, throwing shade at Dwayne. I'm going to have to text him right now. No, know. no, I'll text him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll DM him, actually. We, got, we do DMs. Um, it's not. It's right front and center. Not not center, but it's right in the front. Mine, I can mine. literally see mine yeah, over mine my computer is, right now. It's so uh, awesome. And I, I like you could do just bring him. Me, personally, I have the glasses on doing smell. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. With the, with the mic. And that's I just one of like 12 pretty like signature things you could do with this figure and so good. if you want to take the glasses off and put them in ken Sharmark's ankle lock he could be selling ah you know same face the um the shirt pops too and it's like right near my door if that makes any sense as i walk out of the room and every time i see it i'm like that's such a great figure it's right it next is. to that cena Dude. which didn't make my list but <laughs> uh yeah they're both great ultimate um i agree and I like wait it. that was your number th- who's number okay bros you're number three my number three, WWE Mattel Legends, the Ultimate Warrior. Now, is I do I wish the suit jacket was open? Because Warrior has a prominent red vest. Yes, I do. But for the part choices available, the Rob Schamberger jacket, and the fact that we got this figure, this iconic, you know, I, I threw around iconic a lot in this top five, but it's true, like, Warrior's last ever WWE moment the night before he passed away. That that iconic speech. It's captured with the with the John Cone thrown away mask removable. <laughs> Is it the finger Poor point? Uh, uh, I think it's a great figure. And beggars can't be choosers with the closed jacket. I'm glad we got it. Uh, it was one of my you know fantasy figures that I wanted to have happen for a long time. So I'm glad we got it this year. Right. And also, John Cohen did let us know a little follow up from the Buddies episode. He was not, in fact, forty four when the Buddies came out. Oh, okay. mm, we're gonna have to do some a background <laughs> check on that. But keep going. So I cheated. My number three. Uh, what I put the Viking Raiders. Oh, and, nice. So I, I guess I put both of them as as the number three. So I cheated. I, I thought about it, but it's fine. I mean, yeah. they're they're incredible. So I know they're I singles, think. but I was like, that's a tag team, and who's who's buying? Who's who's just going to the store and going? I'm just gonna get Ivar. Uh, Ivar. Does the cartwheel, so that wouldn't surprise me if someone. I see the kid. I wonder. I wonder yeah. if there's kids like making that decision. Like I can only get <laughs> one. Which one? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I hard, like, hard I echo times. everything you said. Great figures. Oh, oh, they blew me away. It's like almost not wrestling figures. Right. Yeah. I think that's why they really stand out to me. I think you hit hit it on the head there. It's like so toyetic. It's not even toyetic in a wrestling figure realm. It's like. Above and beyond, right? Yeah, I could stand them in my Super Seven He Man shelf, and nobody, or, would or even like your Marvel guys, I feel like nobody yeah. would like blink an yeah. eye in it. Yeah, right? yeah. All right, Brian, you're number right. two. My number two figure of 2020. Let's take a sip, a little bit of the bubbly. Chris Jericho Ringside Collectibles exclusive. Um, this thing is just pure fun. The, the just, box, dude. It's, the it's box. My number two uh, as well. The first time I saw this box, I was like. Especially in person, I, I was just baffled at, at the effort and the coolness and the, the detail. And then when you open it, one, I think the Jericho, the scan, is way better than Series 1 Jericho. It's a better likeness. You get the title, the, ta- the first AEW table, and then like all those accessories. It's so it's just pure fun. And what a way for Ringside to kick off like you know, what's you know, going to be a flourishing relationship of exclusives and stuff, you know, with yeah, two, feel- actually t- two back-to-back bangers, you know, with the Blood Brothers and the... Yeah, and right. that, that, like I said, that was my number two. And getting that and opening it made me realize, oh, shit, 
I want to get this Minna card also, and it made me get all of Series 1 Minna card, really just because I wanted to go with the Jericho. So yeah. I think it's an awesome like introduction to the figures. Uh, and a great exclusive. It sold out numerous times. Ringside kept ordering it, yeah. kept selling out. It's so cool. It's perfect. Yeah, and I, I, you know, looking at these exclusives, the the Ringside exclusives for AEW, I feel like, um, and, and Ringside did some great stuff with Mattel, the Kane figure very recently. The edge um, uh, <laughs> But I, I almost feel like John and Trevor and the people that put these things together, like the handcuffs are off with AEW a little I bit. I agree 100%. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know this I for mean, a fact. They haven't We don't us. either, but I mean, it feels like that, right? Well, I mean, yeah. there's blood all over the place. There's right. blood all over figures. There's alcohol. Al- alcohol inspired packaging. I mean, it's like telling two wrestling cool. fans, um, like, you can, now you can make whatever you want. And then you're just like, right. what? Oh my God. Yeah. And, they, and they did great. Yeah. All right, so my number two was the uh, was the boxing pack, the uh, Mr. T. Ooh, great pack. Um, Mr. T, wow. Hot Rod boxing pack. I love that match. I love WrestleMania 1. I watched that um, VHS a lot uh, when I was younger. And uh, I, it's just like a funny match. We did it on Off the Hop Rope. They, the, the, the robes are so good. The box, the face is great for great, Piper. It's a great two-pack. Very it's, impressed with it. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I think if I felt... A little more sentimental to the moment, I'd probably love it even more. But it's it's like almost flawless. As that's as a, that's as my itself. problem is I have no yeah. real sentimental attachment to Piper, to Mr. T, to the match. So that well, me and John Cohen went. Broski, you, you were there play. alive, you yeah. piece of shit. <laughs> According to my dad, no, but that one wasn't in uh, that that match wasn't Long Island. I don't think. I thought that main event in Long Island. Oh, did it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't oh, you know. don't remember when you were not even one years old going to WrestleMania? I don't think I even went. I think my dad's lying. <laughs> I do too. But all right, our know. number one, and I think we all might have the same figure. My number one is uh, don't the pick Chris Candido FTC. FTC Chris Candido, <laughs> it rules. Uh, I-, I went with Legends Eight Ultimate Warrior. Oh, whoa! It's just the figure. Did I say I- Legend Seven before? Okay. You might have, but uh, it's just a figure I didn't know I needed in my collection. You know what I mean? Like I didn't, like Broski said when he talked about that. Oh, I've always wanted this. I I couldn't even like picture this happening in my brain to even mm. happen. And then right. the, the the quality is like above and beyond, especially for you know now that you know like something can be an exclusive or an ultimate and get that. But you're getting this at retail. It's just almost like surprising, mm. you know. So uh, I love it. I love what it represents. It's so it's so. We've gotten a lot of Ultimate Warriors, and sometimes you you know you forget they're so similar, you forget about them. This one is head and shoulders above all the rest. I think you know it's just that special. Well, interesting, but I know I think I don't know, but I think I know what Matt's number one well, is. Well, my number one. No, we have a bigger hog than me, dude. Me too, Hollywood, baby. Hulk Hogan. Uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Ultimates. Come That's on, the figure this I've been waiting for my entire life. Needed. Yeah. This is a figure we needed, we wanted. You would think if, if Mattel just started today in 2021 and they had to make series one of just legends, how do you not have Hollywood Hulk Hogan in there? Yeah, oh yeah. I agree. Hey, you're you preaching it. to the choir. Love Good. it. So many awesome um, accessories. The belt's so good. I, I look at it every time I go in my closet. It's like right there in the wall. Oh, things have so changed. Great. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm glad we have them. No way. I love it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a great figure. I and threw out the boas though because he should not have come with the boas. I didn't throw them out. I put them in a ziploc. For normally I do put them in ziplocs and, and tote them up, but out of principle I threw it out. That's really insane. Okay. That is the most <laughs> insane thing I've ever. I have heard. an honorable mention that I picked up that I'm going to do a live unboxing here. Since we none of us, or at least I, have rounded up my active WWE roster collection, and you guys flat out don't collect right now, even though Broski's on the cusp, I'm pretty sure. This is Bill McKenna's love letter to pro wrestling this year. It's an Io Shirai uh, Elite 79. So I grab this. I'll throw her in Mackenzie's bin or whatever. I don't need her. Well, well, while you do that, let me let me tell you. So I had the Patreon exclusive uh, Facebook group vote on their top five figures of the year. And D Freedom, shout out to D Freedom, doing great work for us. Um, he put that list together. So here is the top five wrestling figures as voted on by the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, Major Marks. Top number five, Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition Series 6. Uh, Rock Amazon exclusive. Wow. Oh, nice. Ma- 
And number four, WWE Elite Collection uh, Series 79, Lo Shirai. EO. Lo? <laughs> EO. EO, sorry. What am I talking about? Uh. Uh, capital I. Uh, number three, Wicked Cool uh, or Jazzwares, AEW Unrivaled Collection, Ringside Collectibles, a little bit of the bubbly. That's number three, Chris Jericho. Number two, Mattel Legends Series A Ultimate Warrior, and number one, Ultimate Edition Series Seven Hollywood Hogan. Wow! So our list is all pretty similar. It's all very similar. And right? look, the one that we were missing is this one, which I knew because Low Shirai. Let's see it. <laughs> Eo. Well, first off, the jacket I didn't realize is like crazy detailed. Very wow. very cool. Has these like ribbons hanging off of it. The fur hoodie likeness is unbelievable. I like all the. All the the scale Mattel. That's one thing uh, Jazzers might have to step up because Mattel is always so true to the scale. Like all the females, like Natty is much shorter than the guy. You know, right. and she's the same. This is a very impressive figure, man. So you said you're just going to give that to Mackenzie? Yeah, I'll put it in her bin of you know female pro wrestlers and stuff. It's that's cool, very cool. It's a great it's wow. The likeness is insane. I mean, it's Bill literally when this came out wrote a love letter to this action figure. Yeah. On his Instagram about like how like it's his life's work, so it's cool though, man. I'll well, good that. job, very... Bill. The uh, the major wrestling figure podcast, major marks agree, uh, top figure of the year. All right, Matt, I'm really excited. Let's let's. Just, oh God, you know, can I so, go to so, the bathroom? So Brian doesn't fall asleep. Let's just quickly go through these. Okay. Okay. These are non wrestling figures, top five figures of the year. Yeah, we so don't we're not, we're not doing like a top five turtle, top five Star Wars. No, no, no. no top okay. five in general. Like, non wrestling all day. Figure. Number five, I picked Super 7, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael. Uh, you didn't pick the two-pack? Like, a- as a two-pack? The Super 7. Oh, the Super 7, Raphael. Super 7, okay. Raphael. Oh, man. Uh, All right. Super 7, like we said with the Andre, I'm super excited to be included in this Ultimates line because Raphael, Andre, Matt, and Brian, they're all on scale. Um, and these are just like, um, they take the original Playmates Turtles and make them modern. Hmm. And they're super articulated, super cool, a lot of accessories, and the Rusty, packaging you, is beautiful. Next week, or from now till next week, can you just start flipping through a dictionary and, and figure out other ways to not use the word super? But we're talking about Super 7, that's kind of the gimmick. Here. No, but you do it all the time with everything. Super, 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 super. Broski. Super. Have you made the switch? I feel like I've heard this in your inflection lately. And in our private chats, <laughs> do you now think that the Super 7 figures ha- are better than the cartoon figures from NECA? Ooh. Do you like them better? Um, here's the thing. I think they're totally different. Okay. I think they're in two universes. If you could only collect one. <sighs> I'll say this. The NECA ones are in my display, not uh-huh. my Super 7s. Okay. Because right, here's my, give me the rest here's of your... My thing. Okay. Yes. Because I have the Playmates. Right, which are not really cartoon turtles, but th- they are, but they're yep. not. Yep. Then I have the NECA cartoons, which are right from the cartoon. Mm-hmm. Then I have the play. Then I have the super. Uh, sorry, Super Seven that are better versions of the play. Like, ha- I like the NECAs because they're true. Mm-hmm. I also love the Super Sevens because they're better versions of the Playmates. But I like them both equally for different reasons. But right now in display, who's got the real estate? The NECA. The NECA does. The NECA, but I have every Super 7 one. Right. So far. I think the NECA cartoon ones is my favorite action figure line of all time. Period. Right now. Okay, what's your what's the rest? Four. Okay, number four. We'll go real quick. NECA again, Back to the Future 2, Marty McFly with the hoverboard. Phenomenal. Uh, the hat. Yeah. Great figure. You opened it and displayed opened it? Opened it. Okay. Yes. Now, I, I couldn't it. get him to stand on the hoverboard, but that's okay. okay. Um, number three, NECA again. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super Shredder. So a good. figure I think Brian needs in his collection because Big Kev. <laughs> yeah. So it's good. Big Kev. Yeah. Signed. Uh, number- we, hey, guys, we all yeah. are doing uh, ACW with Big Kev, so we're probably all going to be best friends. Might have to get it. Yeah. Um, number two, Black Series Star Wars, The Mandalorian Removable Mask with Child. Right. Which I think, I think it was uh, not... Purposely done spoiler for the finale of season two. If you take the mask off, the child's reaching for his face. Yep. Love it. So good. Number one, Neca two pack. Toka Razor. 
unbelievable. That's that's my number one. Yeah, well, our list is similar. Um, num- my number five. Uh, well, I put I needed to put a Marvel Marvel Legends two pack Old Man Wolverine and Old Man Hawkeye. Such a great thing. <laughs> just that it's a six comic ep thing, and it's just unreal. It was like one of the best comics I've ever read. And then they made the f- two figures that encompassed the whole thing. It was just great. Number four, NECA cartoon Krang Android Body that came in that's under the wire. One. Got it right at the end yeah, of the that's year, a great one. bro. The the deep cuts in this line are so cool, it's un- unreal. In one episode of the cartoon, uh, Brian, the Shredder catches Krang in the shower. Like <laughs> he's the android, yeah, and he's, I know he is. I he's coming out scene. of the shower with like a towel on his head and, and a towel around his waist <laughs> with yeah. a soap on a rope. They put that in the. You can display your yeah. Krang as if he's coming out of the shower. That's just, that's just a rib, guys. I, it's no, I just, love it though. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, and that's why I put it there. TMNT Secret of the Ooze, uh Super Shredder, phenomenal. That, that's my three. Number two, the Hasbro Mandalorian Black Series uh, and the Child. Same as you, buddy. And then same yep. as you. Number one, Secret of the Ooze, Toka and Razor. I don't know how anybody. Non wrestling related could not pick those two figures as the figure right. of the year. We so talked about it at length on this show. And then let me just tell you the list of the major marks, top figures of the year. The number five, the musical mutagen tour four pack from NECA. That's the turtles. Oh, one. We like, talked that was about a good that. One. The number four, the Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise two pack from NECA movie. The That's a great one. NECA Secret of the Ooze Super Shredder, okay. the n- number two, Toka and Razor, and then our peeps voted number one, the Mandalorian in the Black Series uh, with the child as the number wow. one figure of the year. And we were close. We were two. But I think us major marks, we all have uh, very similar opinions on these figures. So. All right. There well, it is. Top five figures. It was fun. I look forward to this every year, to be honest with you, because it's, it's, it's a fun. cool way. Yeah. I love it.